After eight years, this NDP Liberal Prime Minister is not worth the cost. He's not worth the cost of food which has had the worst inflation in over four decades, with two million people, a record-smashing number, lining up at food banks across the country. Chaos breaking out the other day at the food bank in Montreal, where the police were forced to intervene as the food had run out and many stomachs were still hungry, waiting in line. A third of charities are turning Canadians away because they no longer have the resources to feed them after eight years of this NDP Liberal Prime Minister. After eight years, we now have a uh, Facebook group called the Dumpster Diving Network, where 8,000 Canadians share tips on how they can climb into a garbage can and pull out food to feed themselves because they can't afford the groceries, there's nothing left on the shelves at the local food bank, and therefore people have to go digging in garbage. This is the dumpster economy that the NDP Liberal Prime Minister has given us after eight years. Uh, he is not worth the cost of food. He's not worth the cost of housing, which has doubled after eight years of him funding uh, bureaucratic, local bureaucratic gatekeepers that block home building and printing cash, which inflates housing prices. After eight years, he's not worth the cost of taxes. Uh, he punishes work. Uh, you make it, he takes it. He punishes the people who get out of bed in the morning and work hard by taking the cash uh, off of their paycheck. Paychecks that have less purchasing power, because after eight years of doubling the debt and printing $600 billion of new cash, he's caused uh, the worst inflation in four decades. That has spiked interest rates, which now forces many Canadians to sell their homes or face bankruptcies, which themselves are rocketing higher. Uh, in fact, the, the pace of increase in bankruptcies is vertical. If you look at the graphs, it's straight up. Uh, as more and more businesses are declaring bankruptcy because the Prime Minister's inflationary spending has sent interest rates on their debts uh, skyrocketing. And it, it is in this miserable environment that the NDP Liberal Prime Minister proposes yet another cruel tax hike. He, plan, he plans to do it on April Fool's Day. It is an April Fool's Day tax hike. Madam Speaker, just like him, this tax is not worth the cost. Let's go through the facts. There's been a lot of disinformation spread by the NDP Liberals and their friends in the bought and paid for media about the economics of the carbon tax, claiming that, you get better, you, that, you, that you're better off by paying the tax. Here's the facts. Here's the facts. This is from the parliamentary budget officers uh, from his office. Albertans this coming year will pay, on average, $2,943 per family, while they get only $2,032 back in rebates. That's a $911 net cost. In other words, they pay about um, a third more, sorry, 50 percent more than they get back. In Saskatchewan, the average family will pay $2,618 this coming year and get only $2,093 back. A, fi a net cost of $525. In Manitoba, they will pay $1,750 and get back only $1,250 for a net cost of $500. In Ontario, the average family will pay $1,674 and only get back $1,047, a net cost of, five of $627. In Nova Scotia, they will pay $1,500 and get back $963 for a net cost of over $500. In Prince Edward Island, they pay $1,605 and get back only $1,055 for a net cost of $550. And in Newfoundland, they will pay $1,874 and get only $1,497 back for a net cost of $377. I dare the Liberal media, who have been pushing this disinformation, to contact the parliamentary budget officers, uh, officials and run all those numbers by him. Ask him if I have it right, because we already did, and he confirmed that we do. So why does this matter? Because we have to stop the disinformation. The disinformation that has not only polluted the debate, but sent countless people to food banks as they cannot afford to pay their bills. The disinformation, which will grow in importance as the Prime Minister quadruples the carbon tax, 
and the gap between the cost of the tax and the rebate people get back grows massively, forcing more people to live in these awful tent cities and, and lose their homes, forcing seniors to choose between eating and heating as they shiver hungry in the cold in their modest homes. Madam Speaker, that disinformation is dangerous. It must be corrected because the truth is that the carbon tax is just like the Prime Minister. It is not worth the cost. Only common sense conservatives will spike the hike on April 1st, and after the carbon tax election, we will axe the tax. Let's bring it home. Yeah.